Yes, today there was one interview question actually. Oh, the, the, the question is, uh, we created a user account directly from security console. I would like to assign this user account for a particular employee. How we can do that? Okay, so uh, let's say we have created an user account here. Let, let me go for create an user account here, security console. Just directly creating the user. It's an implementation user. Go to user step. Directly, I'm going to create a user account. Yeah. So I'm going to specify that here it is March 2. Just going to add a couple of roles, let's say implementation roles, ID security manager and application implementation role. Application implementation consultant role we are going to add. And I'm going to add employee role also. I'm going to add employee role also here. Click done button. Okay. I'm not mentioning anywhere here employee details. Okay. So if the employee already specified, if we have hired an employee already, then what we can do is uh, we can go for associate here. We can search for the worker and we can do it. Right now it's not done. Just we created user account here. It's uh, created here successfully. Now, when I search employee here, what is the user account March 2 dot March 2? I could see that this is my user. And we don't find any employee information here, right? We don't find any employee details. Here. It means it is just an user, implementation user, not an employee account. So this user, I wanted to go for attach for a particular employee. Really what we'll try to do is, when we try to add, we don't find here. We don't find information over here. We don't find information here. So whenever we hire an employee for that employee, we can, so we can go for link this. So there are two types of employees. One is a HCM employee that we will perform from high client groups, new person. Another one is non-HCM employee. If it is non-HCM employee, where do we do? HCM in the sense, if the client is not implemented uh, HCM, and client is not implemented HCM, only finance or supply chain manager. We'll go to the task called manage users. We'll go to the task called manage users. Here, the system will allow you to hire an employee allow you to hire employee personal details means employee details here user details instead of entering the new user we will link existing user account already user account is there so i'm going to specify here mukun kali is the name Somewhere. Yes, select this option, link user account and search for your user, whatever user you have, check the status. This is active status, okay? So now I'm going to link this user account for employee. And we can find, this is common. 
Generally, if it is HCM user, we will choose legal employer, business unit, or all the tabs like uh, personal information, identification information, employment information, compensation and salary. But in non-HCM, we don't find this many features because client is not subscribed for HCM, right? So we are just trying to specify here options. And we are going to mention these options. So and so legal entity, so and so business. And only two fields are mandatory. This is how we can convert the user account as an employee. Now, this login means indirectly Mukund Kale has logged into the application. Indirect Mukund Kale has logged into the application. You can find the details will be updated also. Go to security console. We'll find person number, person name, business unit details. Yeah, go to users tab and search for user accounts here. So click on this. Now I could see that earlier it was not there. Earlier the information was not there. Now we can find this is a transactional user where user can perform some transactions. Now, transaction means when it comes for a HCM point of view, very transfer, global transfer, termination, mass update, mass assignment, changing the assignment information, changing the seniority dates, calculation. This all are comes under the assignment, uh, sorry, transactions, right? This is. So in case if they ask you like, uh, how will you make your uh, implementation user at associate with an employee or make it as a transactional user? Because if you want to perform some transaction, you must be an employee first. Then you must have the access to the roles. Then you must have the access to the data. These are the three levels we have to do it. Then we'll be able to perform some particular transaction as per the role, as per the data access. Okay. Thank you.